In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to sell NFTs on the Binance Exchange, but as always, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, not responsible if the process changes or if you get the process wrong. This is simply how I've been doing it. With that being said, I'm on my computer here and I am logged into the Binance Exchange. And what I'm gonna to do to get started is click on NFTs at the top. That loads up the Binance NFT area. Now to get to my assets area, what I'm gonna do is hover over this person on the right hand side and then click on user center. That takes me to this main area. Along the left hand side, we've got a variety of different information. We've got my username, we've got my user ID, we've got my assets area, we've got my history. So if I wanted to see the price I paid for an NFT maybe six months ago, I'd be able to see it in there maybe before I listed it. I'm like, how much did I pay? How much profit am I gonna make? That would be in there. Then I've got my favorites area and then settings. But to sell an NFT, you're really gonna be in that assets area. So inside asset, uh, you've got three different options. You've got NFT assets, mystery boxes and crypto assets. And it just so happens that it's loaded in mystery boxes and that's where I've got all my NFTs because I like opening the mystery boxes. So. The one I'm going to sell in this instance is going to be the non-fungible cat Nico. You might have seen me purchase this in a video just up here explaining how to buy NFTs on the Binance exchange. So to get started, I'll go ahead and I'll click on that. And we can see just in here then I have my one non-fungible cat Nico. Now, let's say you enjoy opening mystery boxes as much as I do and you bought five or ten. They would all be in here if you have revealed them. If not, they'd all be mystery boxes inside and you could reveal them from in there as well. But in this instance, yep, Smudge Lord NFT, uh, NFC Nico is the one I want to sell. So if I hover over it, you can see this button appears that says list NFT. So I go ahead and I click on that and that loads up this page here. On the left hand side, we have this little animation, this little video showing a Smudge Lord NFC being revealed. We have uh, on the right hand side, some information about the NFT. It's not really that important. It might be like the name is important in a second, but I'll explain. And then we want to decide just below that, how we want to sell the NFT. Do we want to sell it to the highest bidder or as a set price? And in this case, I'm going to go with a set price. Uh, just below that, we can decide how many we want to sell. So let's say I had four or five of these. I might only want to sell two of them. Well, I could adjust that there. And then the numbers in the list below. So mine is 20970004846. That's the ID of this NFT. And if you had five of them, obviously there'd be five different NFTs. So I can click that and unclick that. Let's say I wanted to only select different uh, ones, certain ones. Yeah, you do that there. Then I want to decide which cryptocurrency I would like to receive in return for my NFT. And you've got a choice of three on the Binance exchange right now. You've got BNB, you've got BUSD, and then you've got Ethereum. And so it's up to you which one you want to use. It doesn't matter what you paid for it. So you could buy something in Ethereum on the Binance exchange, buy a NFT in Ethereum, and you could sell it in BNB if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on BNB. And then I need to decide on a price. And this is where I think um, the Binance Exchange NFT space really fails in comparison to the likes of OpenSea. There is no like pricing information on that page. So instead what I had to do is a load up Binance again, go ahead and click on NFT, come to the top, copy the name of the NFT, go back to the other tab, paste that in, then click on mystery boxes because this is part of a mystery box set. Sort by lowest first. Yep. Yeah. So that shows me the lowest to highest. However, important thing here, make sure you select the correct sales type. So obviously I'm selling on a fixed price. So if I left it unchecked, I would think the cheapest is like $1 or one BUSD, but it's not because they are auctions. So they might go up in value over the terms. The cheapest to buy is $4.45 in BUSD. Uh, but I am selling in BNB, so I'm just gonna scroll down and see, okay, who's the cheapest in BNB? And doo -doo -doo, just down the bottom here, we've got 0.04 BNB. So I copied that, 
I'm going to paste that in there and that's what I'm going to sell mine for here just to remain competitive. We can see that the fee has been automatically uh, calculated. It's going to be 0 0.0008 BNB, which is 1% of the total sale being paid to Binance and an additional 1% being paid to the original creator as a royalty. That will vary depending on what NFT you are selling. Some may have royalties, some may not. Some may be higher than 1%. Some may be, well, not really lower, but yeah. Then you can select an expiration date. Again, I think this is where the Binance Exchange fails compared to OpenSea. The maximum setting you have here is seven days. So you can do no less than 12 hours, no more than seven days. So if you wanna sell this NFT, you've got to come back every seven days to relist it if it doesn't sell, which is a lot of manual effort. I like the idea of just listing it for like six months and if it doesn't sell in six months, then I'll fix the problem. But otherwise I can only do what Binance tells me I'm allowed. So click into this calendar here, select the furthest date I can, which is the 7th of February and then go ahead and hit submit. Again, it's just a recap of my listing here. Happy with everything, click confirm. So that re redirects me to this page here. From here then, I could delist the NFT if I wanted to, but in this case, I don't. Uh, the listing does not go live instantaneously. It is reviewed by the Binance team and you will get an email. Um, you can see mine here says, your collectible Smudge Lord NFC Nico listing application has been submitted. We will review it in four to eight hours and once your listing is approved, your collectible will be listed uh, according to your requested time. So after that four to eight hour period, my listing, provided that I've met all the criteria, my listing will be uh, available on the Binance NFT space. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please click like. It really does help out me, the channel, and everybody else looking for this tutorial to show them that this is probably the best one, the most concise one. I certainly hope so. Uh, in the meantime, subscribe for more cryptocurrency videos. I'll see you in the next one.